Hello everybody, Marcel Harding here and welcome to my channel Marcel Harding Art. Today I thought I'd show you the mediums I use other than paint. Um, the paint I use is acrylic out there, but uh, other than the paint, I'll show you the uh, mediums I use other than paint and sometimes I'll even show some of the brushes I use as well. So... Uh, I guess the main one would be gesso primer. Uh, this is Atlier traditional gesso primer surface preparation. This is a large container, but you can get them in smaller containers than this. Basically, it's a, uh, as you can see here, it's basically for priming your canvas, and you can do it on paper as well. You can prime your paper before you put uh, do a painting. Gesso primer, and I usually use a uh, top of a cheap bristle brush like this here, for example. It's a one dollar bristle brush from your local hardware store, anything like that. I just use a, a cheap bristle brush to basically put in here and, and, and just go straight across like that. And I just keep going straight across a cheap bristle brush with the gesso as a primer. I mean, you, you, usually your canvas is already primed, but the, if you want an extra layer of primer to give it more texture, gesso is a good way. And also gesso is a good way to, um, if you don't like the painting, you can paint over it with, with gesso and that, that will, it'll still see through the painting, but you'll be able to paint over it. Uh, you can always do a second layer, layer the next day when it's dry, uh, if you're going to paint over a painting. But if otherwise, you can just use use it to give the surface more texture. So gesso is uh, usually the main medium I I use quite often. Um, I also use um, when I want to varnish a, a painting. This has not been varnished. I'll use there's three different types. There's matte, there's satin, and there's gloss. I find gloss is too it looks too plasticky when it dries, and matte it uh, it doesn't do anything. So satin. It gives it a nice sheen, and it protects the painting as well. And I quite often, when I'm varnishing, I'll use a larger synthetic brush like this, for example. To um, this is from Rosemary Co. I get my brushes from Rosemary Co. Most of them, a large synthetic. This is four inches. You don't have to have a big brush like this, but a synthetic brush like this. It's got to be synthetic, and basically go straight across. And then down this way, and it's quite good for larger paintings too on canvas, on stretched canvas. So I quite often use that uh, when I'm applying the uh, varnish, and I use satin varnish. This is Atlet traditional varnish. And I quite often put the varnish in a tray like this. And I'll usually give it a good shake and just pour it in right across along like that. And I'll get my brush and I'll basically both sides and then I'll just apply like this. So that's another medium I use to uh, other than my painting. Um, also, another one I use is clear medium, clear painting medium. This is to thin the paint out. Um, acrylic paints can be pretty thick and heavy and it, they can dry pretty quickly. Uh, clear painting medium. It slows the process down of uh, of it drying. Plus, it thins it out if the painting's too thick. I usually use this for um, for glazing and for painting things like grapes, uh, that that type of thing. And if generally for skies, if I want to thin the paint down on that as well. So I usually use clear painting medium for that to thin the paint down. That's a good uh, medium to use. And I also use heavy gel gloss. Now, heavy gel gloss. Um, it gives you more shimmy and shine. Um, I'll usually mix heavy gel gloss with the paint, usually about a third of heavy gel gloss to two thirds paint. And I'll mix it in with the paint and it doesn't change the color of the paint at all. It's pretty clear. And what it does is it just gives it more shimmy and shine. Um, same thing as if you were to varnish a painting, but it just gives it more shine on that particular piece. Uh, for example, when I paint grapes, I'll usually put some on that, just to give it just more shimmy and shine. 
as well as clear painting medium to thin it out sometimes. But uh, this is this is really good for that type of thing. Um, if you want something to stick out, clear painting medium is really good for that. And of course, last but not least, I use uh, molding paste. Now I got molding paste from James Gurney when he paints dinosaurs. Um, He's got his own YouTube channel and he's a phenomenal artist and he uses molding paste when he paints his dinosaurs. Now, I don't paint dinosaurs, of course, I'm not a genius like he is, but I quite often use this, uh, for example, on this painting here. I used it, I used it with this here and basically it's, you've got to be quick with it because it can dry up pretty quickly. So I, I scumbled it on here with a, um, even though this is acrylics, I'll use an oral brush. This is an oral filbert brush. Uh, any size, reasonable size is a size 4. It's a bristle brush. Best to use a bristle brush for this. Just one particular brush used for this is all. And I just dump it on the, and I just pour it on, and I shape it on there as well. And um, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see a whole lot of texture on here. So what I do is I apply the molding paste to it. And, uh, and it dries pretty quickly, but usually with a couple of hours. In a couple of hours, I can start painting over it. So I put the molding paste on it first before I do the painting and I'll do it on like these lemons here for example just to give it some real texture you may not have to see it but this molding paste um, it gives the real texture to say the lemons and things like that it, it gives uh, things like trees and fruit and leaves it gives them real texture uh, I learned this from James Gurney and I'll uh, just apply it on there and shape it as well not just put it on there but also shape it and round it when it's completely dry after a couple of hours, then you can start painting on top of that. But you don't necessarily mix it with paint. I suppose you could if you're doing something like grass. If you're going to use grass, if you're going to use it with mix it with paint, I suggest you use a palette knife for grass or something to, to mix it with that to, to do grass blades sticking out with a palette knife. And you can also use a palette knife as well, but it's best to use a brush. So these are the mediums that I use other than the paints themselves. So molding paste is another good one. So um, that's it for today, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and bang the bell, and we'll catch you guys later.